Ale Galán and Fede Chingoto are officially new couple. Galán and Chingoto is a true reality in Premier Paddle. After four years with Juan Lebron, Ale Galán starts a new adventure with the Raton Olavarria. Are they a better couple than Galán and Lebron? What are their strengths and weaknesses as a couple? Hello world players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new four set. It seems unbelievable but the names Ale Galán and Juan Lebron from now on will have to be separated. A couple that changed paddle and dominated the world ranking for three consecutive years. So the first thing we have to understand is how we got to this point and where both Ale and Fede come from. But first of all subscribe to the channel because it's free and so we can go film a training session of Galan and Chingoto together. Well, let's start with Ale Galan that in 2019 he will join Pablo Lima mid-season. In that season, the player from Madrid will be just one match away from being number one. So who will end up being number one? Juan Lebron and Paquito Navarro. However, Lebron and Paquito separated and that led to a couple that would mark an era. Galan and Lebron joined forces in 2020. Two youngsters who would change the way of playing paddle, making it more physical and faster. With this new way of playing paddle, Galan and Lebron became number one in 2020 and 2021. Years in which they beat couples like Paquito Dineno, Sanjo Tapia or Bela Sanjo. We will reach 2022 and with it, the best years of their careers. Because they reached 80% of the finals and would win 14 titles. But their best year would have two hiding problems. The first one, the physical fatigue in a year where there were more tournaments than ever before. And the second one had to do with their rivals. Because the rest of the players were not going to sit down, so they looked for new formulas to avoid another year like that of Galan and Lebron. The result was the union of Coelho Tapia and Stupa Dineno. 2023 will start in the worst way for Galan and Lebron. Injured and with their rivals breaking records because Coelho and Tapia managed to win the first 10 World Padre Tour titles. So, in just 3 months, Coelho and Tapia managed to take the number 1 position from Galan and Lebron. Juan had to be 2 months without competing due to his injury, a key moment for Ale. During this period, Ale will continue to compete with John Sand, seeing himself able to beat the best couples in the world without Juan and at the same time gaining in confidence and perhaps making something clear on his mind. He could be number one in the world without Juan Lebron. However, Lebron was back competing to keep his Premier Padel number one ranking, but he wasn't the same Juan. His game had changed and his confidence was not the same. Cuello managed to take the Premier Padel number one and the couple's worst moment arrived. They considered splitting up in the middle of the season, but not wanting to change the couple's two pan dinero, they decided to continue. They managed to finish the year as the best couple of that period, beating all the couples and winning in Malmo, Menorca, Milano. And after losing in the Master Final final to Paquito Chingoto, they decided to continue together in 2024. However, something had changed. Because for the first time, they had lost, even if only briefly, confidence in the project and had considered changing partners. However, 2024 is starting in the best possible way for Galan and Lebron. They won in Riyadh the first tournament of the season, defeating the Super Pibes and Koyan Tapia. And from there, they will reach Doha, where everything exploded in the fatal match against Garrido and Yanguas. There, Galan said, enough was enough. Because the image that was given in the match was the straw that broke the camel's back. Parallel to this story, there is Fede Chingoto. Chingoto went from being an essential player for Tello for 8 years to having Garrido, Dineno, Paquito and Momo as teammates. But despite changing partners several times, there was one thing that Fede didn't change. He always reminded under the others of Gaby Reca. During this time, Fede has established himself as one of the best players in the world, reaching 5 finals with Paquito, but losing all of them. That was the main and finished business for the Raton de la Barria, winning titles. Actually, his personal finals record was 0-14 until his last dance with Paquito. In the Master Final, they managed to beat Lebron and Galan in the final, but Paquito had already made the decision to separate from Fede. That decision would lead him to look for a new partner, which he didn't know until December. With all the doubts in the Galan-Lebron project, Ali and Fede had talked to see the possibility of playing together. And the final decision was made by Ale after the Master Final. In this way, Chingoto decided to call Momo and bet on the magic of the player from Malaga. 
But however, the project lasts only two tournaments. Last week, he will receive the most important proposal of his career, that is, to play with Ale Galan. So why are Galan and Chingoto really teaming up? Well, Galan trusts Chingoto for having become one of the best right side players on the tour. He's a great defensive player and is capable of adapting to any partner without seeking attention or ego. While Chingoto sees this opportunity as a once in a career opportunity. Don't forget that Galan won 33 titles with Lebron in the four years they played together. And this union is a media boost for both because Fede's image is immaculate and he's undoubtedly one of the most loved players by all the fans. But what are the main strengths of this new couple, Galan and Chingoto? I can think of many, but there is one that I think they will stand out, that is their reflexes. Because Galan is able to do things like this. And Chicoto is more than training as well. How many likes can this video of Galan Chingoto as a new couple get? Together, they are two of the best players at the net. Galan has without a doubt one of the best bullies in the circuit and Fede's intuition is incredible. Another strong point of the couple is related to their partnership. In these four years of Galan with Lebron, I don't remember Ale ever making a bad gesture to Juan. His patience has proven to be great and with Fede, I don't think he will have any kind of problem. The fact of being able to compete knowing that you will have the support of your partner is vital, especially in a new couple. And on the other hand, the motivation. I don't want to imagine the desire Ale must have to be able to prove once again what kind of player he is. And now he has a very big challenge in front of him, to fight for the number one without Juan Lebron. Because many people considered Juan as the talented of the couple something similar to the Juan Martin Diaz and Bella case. And in the same way, imagine Chingoto's desire to play with Ale. Playing with Galan will allow him and at the same time force him to fight to win every tournament. If we stop to think about it, the individual level of both Ale and Fede, in my opinion, is the highest of their careers. On Ale's part, he has managed to play without paining his knee and he has adapted a very relevant presence on the court due to Lebron's change of style of play. And as for Fede, something similar has happened and he has reached the highest level of his career together with Paquito. This couple will allow us to see Galan in charge of almost all the offensive part of the couple while Fede will prepare the point. A style of play similar to the last Galan and Lebron era when Juan couldn't not attack as much as before. So now, what will be the weak points of this new super couple? There is a difference in the offensive side with the Lebron Chingoto change. Although recently Lebron was not attacking as much as before, his smash, how fast he is, all the core he covers Physically, he's superior to Chingoto. So Galan is going to have to be even more offensive to get the couple to win points. But maybe that is not a problem for him because in 2023, he was the player with the most winners in the whole tour. On the other hand, I wonder how they are gonna train. Will Galan continue in M3 and Chingoto with Rekka and will they alternate training together? I think that is the most possible option. And I wonder too, how will Chingoto respond to the pressure of playing with Ale Galan? Because playing with Ale means having to fight to be number one. Fede's stats against Coelho or Dineno are not the best, neither his stats in finals. But I think no one should doubt that Fede will put all his effort to reverse this situation. So how will Galan and Chingoto do together? They will start with the advantage of being a new couple. Their rivals will not have studied them and that can play in their favor at the beginning. They will debut in the P2 of Puerto Cabello in two weeks since in the next P1 of Acapulco, Galan with Lebron and Chingoto with Momo were already registered. In that P2 in Puerto Cabello, Galan and Chingoto will be the number two couple in the ranking behind Coelho and Tapia but ahead of Stupan Dineno. And in my opinion, it is a good moment to change the couple since the season has just started and they still have room to fight to be the number one. So the question is clear, will Chingoto and Galan fight to be number one? I definitely say yes. And not only because they are both in their prime, but also because I trust the combination of two very complementary styles of play. Probably the best attacker next to probably the best defender. And here comes the golden question, are they better than Galan and Lebron? It is going to be very difficult to beat that couple. 
A priori the numbers are not so good for Galanchin Goto, but time will tell. We all would have loved to see a full season competing at the highest level of Coelho Tapia, the Super Pibes and Galan Lebron. But we have new guests on the number one boat. So what do you think? Do you like the couple Galan and Chingoto? Do you see them better or worse than Galan and Lebron together? Thank you very much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like it and see you in the next one.